it has come to my attention that the majority of mankind that inhabits this planet has been so well groomed and conditioned and is lacking in so much education that they can't even see that which is right in front of them. We've reached a very grave and critical period in mankind's history. Mankind and the leadership that it has today, if you want to call it leadership, is faced with a dilemma of allowing the status quo, current leadership that's in place, the power behind the power. It doesn't hit anybody as odd that our governments tell us how different we are than the rest of the world. It's funny that <clears throat> you can go from kingdom to a democratically elected society to a dictatorship to socialism. All forms of government, all 180 countries in the world. And before every election, the leaders espouse the same exact thing. It's the same message. They promise lower taxes, increase education, make education better, lower the funds, or the, into the tuitions. They're going to create more jobs, more prosperity. And they always finish up with, and we're going to make our military stronger. And so we've gone through a period of about 5,000 years of us being conditioned to accept whatever terms are laid in front of us by our leadership. So each country sells their citizenry or their subjects on how they're such a great nation and a nation that they can be proud of. They all have militaries in place, almost every one of them, except for neutral Switzerland. Ever wonder why New Switzerland's neutral and how it got to be neutral? And how they uh, had to draw the short straw to become neutral? And how their security forces have guarded the Pope since the year 1200. 1200? You mean every sitting pope damn near has, uh, has kept the Swiss guard in their tights with their long poles with the pointy tip? Doesn't that strike anybody odd that they never changed anything, that those guys still stand there in their leotards? with their long poles and Switzerland's neutral. And the Vatican Bank is one of the biggest in the world. Do you know that every sitting Pope, Pontiff, could do with what he, whatever he chose to do with every asset in the Vatican? It's all his, basically. If he wants to sell it, he can sell it. Doesn't have to justify anything to anybody. Answers to nobody. <clears throat> Ever wonder why the Catholic Church has always had their finger in education? When they went overseas, to Central and South America for the first few times, and at first always, always took a priest with them. On the second visit over there, and they started killing all the natives over there, they made discoveries 